Hello again, welcome back to Jessica Craftings where we go over tumbler hacks, tips, craft, crap, and anything else you can think of within this category. Today's video we're going to be using Flow Art Resin. You can find this at the epoxystore.com and um, let's get started. Today I'm using my silicone cup which I purchased on Amazon and I'm doing a Grinch tumbler for a final Christmas order. This is a 20 ounce skinny from the Steel Magnolia Company. I'll put the links to everything down below so you guys can hook yourselves up with them. First off, I do not have a syringe or anything, so I'm literally just going to pour this in and hope I get the measurements right. I'm, this is a 50-50 mix, aka one-to-one -one ratio, um, so one part resin and one part hardener. I'm going to need 20 milliliters, so that will be 10 milliliters of part A and 10 milliliters of part B. I'm going to cut this off right here for now and let that level out a little. Let's see how much we've got. Also there's zero odor with this. Um, it is certified non-toxic as you can see here and it is VOC free so no smells and nothing toxic which is awesome. I do still, as with any chemical, I highly recommend using the and all the safety that is required because you never know what you could be allergic to, especially when you're using a new product. You don't want that kind of surprise. Alright, I'm going to use a little more. And obviously, I'm not touching this right now. I do not, so I do not have my gloves on. If anybody thought about maybe bringing that up. And I do not have on my mask because I need you guys to hear me and understand what I'm saying as clearly as possible. And I'm going to cut this off again. This is super thick. It's not normally this thick. It's like 60 degrees in here right now. I do have my window open and I'm sitting right in front of my window. Alright, so that is about 10 milliliters. Part A, we'll put that off to the side. And now time for part B. Just like with any other brand, part B is the thinner of the two. So I'm going to be really careful with how I for this. If any of you guys are in Tumblr Universe, our Facebook group, you will notice that my gloves I have on black gloves. These are not the ones that I bought thinking that the extra large would fit my gigantor super long skeleton fingers. I finally got new gloves. These are size large. They're still a little, uh, they fall short <laughs> in the finger department, but it works. They're not baggy and I'm going to have to just stick with that. If you know of any companies that sell gloves, nitrile gloves for people with long fingers let me know in the comments below because that would help a ton and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has this issue so please share with us what you know all right now comes time for mixing this looks like a seriously thick gel it's just super thick but I'm just gonna power through and mix 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 Alright, I'm back and ready to apply the epoxy. I've mixed it. 
I ended up putting it on my warmer just for a little bit because it was a little too thick. Like, it was super thick and I stir fast so there's a ton of bubbles. But, I love this epoxy because all you gotta do is let it sit for a couple minutes and the bubbles will rise to the top and disappear. But I'm doing this on top of glitter. I have not sealed the glitter. I applied this using the epoxy method. So there's going to be loose pieces falling off and that's totally fine with me because it's all one color. Now with the bubbles, I'm going to use the torch to knock them out so I'm not too concerned. And I kind of like the loose glitter because it gives it, it kind of makes it keep its dimension. Because I'll have glitter on the base, but I'll also have it within this layer of, of epoxy. And I really like that effect. Now my method of epoxy application is get it on the cup and then use the heat gun and smooth it out and do all that other fun stuff later. Like once it's on, especially when it's this thick. Like again, I said it's not normally like this, but it is cold, cold, cold in my office. So I'm just trying to apply it. And like it's not even that normally this whole area would have glopped off had this been warmer. That's pretty good. I'm going to get my heat gun now and get this stuff to spread out evenly. All right, it's heat gun time. This is on a low setting.
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe.